Good to be back, Steve. And the hatch uh, to the Crew Dragon Endeavor is open at uh, 2.45 a.m. Central Time, 3.45 a.m. Eastern Time. Again, Dragon's Hatch opened at 2.45 a.m. Central, 3.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You see uh, the rest of the Expedition 68 crew now gathering at the hatchway in the Harmony Module. Station Commander Sergei Prokopiev on the right joined uh, by his Roscosmos colleagues, Anna Kikina and Dmitry Patelin. The other NASA and JAXA astronaut uh, crew members uh, will be joining uh, just a moment or two from now as the station hatch will shortly be opened and uh, the Crew 6 crew will float on board. Hatch opening occurring again at 2.45 uh, a.m. Central on the Dragon side as uh, the International Space Station flew 260 miles off the southeast coast of Australia. Steve Bowen, on board the International Space Station. Woody Hoberg, now on board. Sultan al Nayyadi comes on board the International Space Station. And Andrei Fedyaev. So the Crew 6 board, is, the Crew 6 crew is now on board the International Space Station. They'll uh, take a few minutes uh, to uh, complete uh, greetings uh, between each other before they set up uh, for the welcoming ceremony. So the International Space Station, now a crew of 11 crew members for the next week.
Once again, uh, hatch opening occurring at 2.45 a.m. Central Time, 3.45 a.m. Eastern Time. The International Space Station was flying at an altitude of 260 miles off the southeast coast of Australia. The uh, Crew 6 crew on board, veteran Steve Bowen and three first-time flyers, joining Nicole Mann, Josh Cassida, Koichi Wakata, and Anna Kikina, along with Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin and Frank Rubio, who's at the hatchway right next to Sultan al Niyadi, the first Emirati astronaut to embark on a long-duration spaceflight, the second Emirati astronaut to fly in space. 